folks. Well, folks, I come to you from the beautiful Pensacola Beach here in uh, Florida, Panhandle, where I've been here for the past uh, couple of days. I was here to give a presentation to New Orleans Dental Association, which is a wonderful group of people that uh, kind of had me to give this presentation uh, on endodontics for four hours in a beautiful venue in which uh, looking right out the window was such a scenic view, yet all of these people kind of stood around and, and sucked up uh, four hours to just listen to me yammer on about endodontics. So that's uh, fairly impressive. Furthermore, what had happened is on the way coming from Boston to here, I almost missed my flight, uh, but I made it to the flight except for my luggage. And so I ended up having to give the presentation in my shorts, which is the first time I've given a long uh, talk at a formal setting in shorts. But again, this just goes to prove the wonderfulness of this, this group of people that were listening to me the other day. And uh, so anyway, what I wanted to do today is I wanted to share with you a, a little excerpt from a concept that I talked about in my presentation on the way I do irrigation. And I go the sequence of views that I do between files in terms of how do I get rid of the the debris as well as this infected canal simultaneously. So let's get into that right now. All right, so a question that has come up so many times during, uh, you know, not only just the presentations, but also online is my sequence of irrigation. Now, as you know, over about a year or so ago, I've switched from the use of sodium chloride EDTA and chelating agents, as well as some lubricants and so on and different syringes using negative pressure into the kind of consolidation of all those irrigants into Triton, which is a solution we've helped develop for Braster USA. And what it does is it has a combination of sodium of chloride 4%, as well as uh, about 11 different gentle chelating agents, as well as surfactants and uh, lubricants and so on, all in one solution. So you can draw it all into one syringe and use it. But how do I use this in between files? And that's really the key point here is the fact that what I prefer to do is to use some agitation such as the ultrasonics and then just water to help kind of remove some of the debris that has been packed during the rotation or reciprocation motion of, uh, of files into the canal walls which is an impediment to advancement of the files and are so important to actually remove these this debris. And the only way that you can really, uh, in a reliable manner, remove that is by using constant or intermittent uh, ultrasonic irrigation using just the fluids and just, just using water during your uh, instrumentation. And then you do that, and what that does is it kind of loosens up the debris. And then I follow up with using a little bit of uh, negative pressure or suction inside the canal, and for that, uh, you know, you can use any kind of a negative pressure you have. You can actually use your own suction uh, or you could use the endovac or what you see here is I'm using the total vac, which is a new negative pressure irrigation system I've been working on for quite a while now and that is hopefully going to be available soon. And what it does is it does uh, fairly much the same thing as you actually remove the debris that has been loosened up with the water from the irrigation from the ultrasonic from the canal. And now what you do is you add Triton. So by adding the Triton, what you're doing is you are now introducing the uh, effects of the chelation and the disinfection, the tissue dissolution into the canal after removal of the loose debris. So it essentially becomes a three-step process uh, when you want to irrigate, but by putting together in a kind of an intelligent design manner these concepts of a, you know, multi multiple irrigation in one solution followed by a device uh, that creates negative pressure very quickly and then using the ultrasonic at the beginning by kind of loosening up the debris, you're going to have a lot of efficiency in terms of being able to implement this kind of modality of irrigation and be able to work your way down the canals much more easier and much more predictably. So you know, what ends up happening is I use the ultrasonic and water and I call that agitation. Step one is agitation. You use ultrasonic and water and loosen up the debris that's been packed and is present in the canal follow that up by uh, evacuation or negative pressure or suction. And what that does is it removes the loosened up debris in the water that has come from the irrigation, from the ultrasonic. And then lastly, now you can add the Triton. And the reasoning behind this is that there is really no rational reason to use your disinfectants such as Triton or even sodium sort of chloride or ADT or anything that you use as a means of positive pressure flushing. That is not only not safe, but also it's a waste of the irrigant and the disinfectants to use it for flushing. The most efficient way of flushing the debris would be to use it with an ultrasonic and water in this intermittent ultrasonic irrigation uh, methodology that has been shown, in fact, by uh, University of Toronto to be as effective as the general wave procedure, which is like an $80,000 machine with a hundred dollar per application mode for irrigation. So what I want to emphasize is the importance of being able to kind of use what's been scientifically proven 
but putting it together in a real world uh, manner in a way that is easy to apply by using irrigation, by using uh, agitation with the ultrasonic and the water that you already should be having chair side and use kind of routinely on a very inexpensive kind of a device that everybody should be having if you're doing enough endo. And then secondly, then evacuate all of that stuff out, which is a loose debris, and then add the irrigant. And now you're ready to go into the next file with having your canal that's fresh, doesn't have a lot of debris baked into the canal walls, and that is going to make it a lot easier and a lot more uh, effective in terms of what you can achieve. I hope this makes sense to you. I will, as these little devices become available within the next year with the uh, total back and all these other negative pressure irrigation solutions methods that we have going on, once they become available, I will be able to kind of explain to you this three-step process for irrigation, which uh, I think you're going to, to like, and it's gonna make a lot of sense. If you have any questions, please write, write, write them down below and uh, share with me any of your thoughts. Once again, I want to thank all of our attendants here at this uh, Louisiana Dental Association uh, meeting here in this beautiful Pensacola Beach, uh, Florida venue at the Hilton Hotel. So that was uh, wonderful. Thank you so much. And until next uh, video, let's save some teeth.